This hillside is a timeline of the Earth's history. Let me show you something cool. Come with me. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the KT boundary. The KT boundary is a geological dividing line between Earth's Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Now, if you look right here, from here on down, dinosaurs and very few mammals. And you look up from here, going up, and there are no dinosaurs and mammals taken over, which means that whatever happened right at this point is what wiped out the dinosaurs. Whatever happened at this thin line of rock changed evolution in the blink of an eye, and scientists now believe that there's only one clear explanation. Five million years ago, a six-mile-wide asteroid struck near what is now Chicxulub, Mexico, near the Yucatan Peninsula. It was so big that as the bottom struck the Earth's crust, the top of the asteroid was still sticking out of the planet's atmosphere. If you detonated every single nuclear weapon on Earth simultaneously, the dinosaur killer impact would have been a million times more powerful. The world burned and the dinosaurs, along with most species on Earth, were wiped out. In the KT boundary, we find more than enough evidence to support the asteroid theory. For one thing, it contains a relatively large amount of iridium, an element that's rare in the Earth, but very common in asteroids. You also find microtectites, little tiny glass beads, and that's what happens when an asteroid hits the Earth, compresses the sand, turns it into glass, and the stuff blasts out and lands all over the Earth. You find a lot of shock quartz, quartz that has been rammed far harder than anything on Earth could do. A volcano is not enough to do it. These all point to an asteroidal origin for this layer right here. This is the KT boundary, and this is what happened to the dinosaurs.